What is hyper? Use it and why do we need it? Any Java enterprise application is usually broken down into a UI layer, a business logic layer, and the data access layer. Each of the layer above uses the services provided by the layer below. And each of these layers use a set of technologies or frameworks. So in case of data access layer, to get the data, to update the data or delete the data, perform the CRUD operations on the database, we can use JDBC or Spring JDBC, which makes it a little more easier than JDBC or Hibernate. Hibernate is a ORM tool. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. We as object development or object oriented programmers like to work with objects, whereas the database has tables or relations. It's a relational database. So these tools like Hibernate will do that mapping for us and make our job easier. Why do we need Hibernate? There are several advantages. It removes the boilerplate coding, which we typically do when we use JDBC. We have to create connection, get the statement, and when we load some data, we have to take the result set, put it back into objects. Iterate through the result set, put it into a list, do all that work. So the ORM tools like Hibernate will do all this for us. We no more need to create a connection, get the statement. All that boilerplate coding is gone. SQL generation. Again, we as object-oriented programmers like to deal with objects. So while using Hibernate to save the product information into the product table, we simply call session.save and give the product object. Hibernate internally gets the values of this product or the properties of this product like name, ID, price, etc. Generate an insert query and will execute that insert query behind the scenes. Cache support Hibernate improves performance by providing two levels of cache, first level and second level. More on this later on. How many times had, have we handled the checked exceptions like SQL exception while working with connection, statement and other interfaces in JDBC? We no more have to do it because Hibernate only throws unchecked or runtime exceptions. Optimistic locking and pessimistic locking are uh, advanced concepts which I will be presenting later on, but they have to do with table or row level locking mechanisms and Hibernate has inbuilt support for optimistic locking, which is a good way to lock. One more advantage is lazy loading. For example, if we have an order table and a child table called product, in the object oriented world, we'll have an order class with a list of products. When we load the order, from the database, we can tell Hibernate to lazily load the list of products. If we only need the order information, like the order ID, the order time, the shipping address, or some other information, which is from the order table, we need not load the products as well. So Hibernate provides us the lazy loading ability so that we can only load the products when required later on in the application. These are some of the advantages. There will be several other advantages. So in this lecture, you have learned what Hibernate is. It is a ORM tool that makes our job to perform the database operations much easier. It has several advantages, like it avoids the boilerplate coding. It generates the SQL for us. We can only deal with objects. It has cache support, improving performance. It throws unchecked exceptions. It also has inbuilt support for optimistic locking and it allows lazy loading of data.